All right, ladies and gentlemen, with four hours to go and thirty dollars left is my goal to make rent and keep Thor News up and running. I'm just gonna try and churn out the videos because I've been having major computer and hacker problems since about four PM today. And even if it is later in the afternoon and you find this and you would care to donate five dollars, ten dollars, buy me a hamburger, six dollar pizza, ramen noodles, water, anything, Thor News survives and thrives off your contributions. And I greatly appreciate all y'all. It's just sad that a few bad apples have to spoil all of humanity. This is why we can't have good things. Because hackers run the show, dude. And it's like, I don't even know if white hats exist. <clears throat> so let me try and take out my angst. Because while I'm, I am super grateful, I'm also very frustrated at the same time. So all I'm trying to do is bring people together. And especially like yesterday, like 23 people died. And so I was trying to keep people prepared and informed. All right, here we go. Curiosity crashed, but it's working fine again. NASA won't have to send astronauts to turn it off and back on again. Well, I don't know if you guys know this. NASA hasn't sent astronauts to anywhere other than the International Space Station in decades. So that would be a bad plan. And I don't know. I think Curiosity is old by a certain standards, but it's not that old. Anyway, but you know what? Because here's the thing, if people love something, and then it dies, like a robot, I always give, I like to give people at least a few days, like when John McCain died, and then they threw a giant queen funeral for John McCain, like, I don't know, he's the queen of England, and everybody came out and said all these wonderful things about John McCain, I waited a few days before I said, hey y'all, John McCain was one of the most pro-war people I've ever heard of, and I've ever met. So it was just kind of weird to watch that happen. The same thing happened when everybody thought Curiosity was dead. And a lot of the scientists and astronomers were like, very sad. And I didn't make fun of them. But I was like, I don't know why everybody's so sad. This robot is returning the same pictures that the like 1966 or 1970 rover was returning. Um, except these are in color, but you can't even really tell because they're all brown or orange. And so then it came back to life. So now I get to make fun of them. Sweet. But I do it out of love. Because I'm sick of us having a thousand robots on Mars. Venus is way cooler and way more interesting. Heck, the first photograph of Venus they took from some type of an orbiter, it looked like Earth. And that's probably why we don't take photographs of it. Did you know that? Okay. In 2012, NASA's Curiosity, where have I heard that date before? NASA's Curiosity rover landed in the Gale Crater on Mars and began exploring for clues about the planet's past and subsequent evolution. Since 2014, it has been investigating Mount Sharp, a.k.a. Alios Mons, the central peak within Mars, Mars Gale Crater, in the hopes of learning more about Mars's warm, watery past and maybe find signs of past life. But I mean, they got water at the freaking poles man you know that like did they land over where the water is where you got the snow caps right no they didn't they landed in the middle <clears throat> they probably landed near the martian microchips wherever the martian microchip told them to go and if you want to find a very interesting story I can't believe I forgot his name Richard Hoagland watch some of Richard Hoagland's old videos on when they dropped the first rover there they're fascinating. Um, I highly recommend it, whether it's entertainment value or educational value. It is one of the most interesting things about Mars I've ever heard. And it gets into the Elysium stuff. All right. So, yeah, we've dropped our 50,000th robot. Let me look this up. Sorry, I'm unprepared. Bum, uh, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, so we've had like a zillion missions to Mars. And all we ever get back are stupid ass photographs of dirt. And they're like, we might find water. We found water. We didn't find water. Wait, we found it again. Wait, we lost water again. No, it doesn't have water. Yes, it has water. And they're like, it might have life. We 
We don't think it has life. No, no, no. It still might have life. We just don't know. Maybe it's microbial. It's like, dude, you guys have been there since like, I don't even remember the 70, 19, it's like right after we got to Mars with the or, orbiter and then JFK died like a few days or a week later. And so like, look at all these missions. See, my computer's not even. Everything is going so slow. But like we got all these missions around Mars. And it's like, did, did NASA, do you guys even know there are other planets in our solar system? Like Venus, Mercury. We got something around Jupiter. So I'm grateful for that. Don't get me wrong. Um. So yeah, I don't know. It's just. We spend so much money and then everybody's like, you know, before they were like, we're going to skip the moon and go to Mars. I was like, that, that's dumb. You, you you think you should practice on the moon? Because if, you know, if you're, you're going to go camping in the Himalayas, you've never camped before, I would suggest camping in your backyard first. Okay, so since 2014, it has been investigating Mount Sharp, a.k.a. Alias Mons, a central peak within Mars Gale Crater in hopes of learning more about Mars's warm, watery past, and maybe find signs of past life. On February 15th of this year, Curiosity gave mission controllers a bit of a scare when it suffered a technical glitch and automatically entered safe mood. Safe mode? Is there a safe mood? If, it, if there is, I don't know. I'm not feeling it right now. But what happened was there was like the giantest dust storm ever. Because I don't know if you know this, but it's been stormy all over the solar system for a year or two and so coincidentally it's stormy on earth too and so that dust storm blew so much dust onto the curiosity its solar panels didn't work after getting the rover back online and running a series of checks the rover is in good shape and ready to resume normal science operations fantastic see there you go more pictures of dirt your arizona after spending a few days in the safe mode the rover was brought back online Tuesday, February 19th. The mission's engineering team that proceeded to boot the rover up 30 times to make sure that the technical issue did not repeat itself. And yeah, there were some questions. They were like, why did it shut itself down? Because maybe aliens took it over. And of course, and over the course of the last weekend, the team sent and received technical data with the rover in an effort to find the cause of the issue. Yeah, so we're talking about curiosity and it's wonderful pictures of dirt. You know, you'd have to at least walk 30 feet outside of your house to go see rocks like that. Let me even look up Venus Hibiasu. Hibiasu. That, that, that doesn't, that's probably not going to go well. Man, I'm so, work so hard in February. And then, I don't know, I'm just, my brain is totally jello. Man, I'm trying to drive it home. I got four hours left to make $30 to save Thor News. So even if I do a lousy job, at least I tried. I hope I can make my mom proud. Dude, that is impossible. Yeah, so like here's, here's Venus. Does Venus look way more interesting? Venus looks way more interesting than Mars. Here's like what they used to tell us Venus look like and here's what Venus looks like thanks to Japan's orbiter like that is Venus so Venus looks super fascinating but instead we get more pictures of Martian dirt I'm like screw that Martian dirt dude give me pictures of Venus or Neptune or go back to Saturn like or fly out to Eris anyway we're still not sure exact cause and we're gathering relevant data for analysis. The rover experienced a one-time computer reset, but has operated normally ever since. Which is a good sign. We're currently working to take a snapshot of its memory to better understand what might have happened. And the whole thing is, man, they say Venus is, or Mars is the planet and the god of war. And so for NASA to focus all of its focus onto Mars... Maybe that's the reason the world is at war with itself. Maybe if we put our focus on, like, other planets, um, then we wouldn't have such a warring time on Earth. All right, that was pretty far-fetched. Forgive me for that dumb idea. 
At the time, Lee also indicated that the, until the team had a better understanding of what happened, Sign's operations would remain on hold. They don't want to be taking pictures of Martian dirt if they don't know what went wrong. In the short term, we're limiting commands to the vehicle to minimize changes in its memory. We don't want to destroy any evidence of what might have caused the computer reset. Martians. As a result, unless they were like aliens from another planet that flew down, landed on Mars, and then reset the computer. That would be weird, though. We expect science operations will be suspended for a short period of time. That's what she said. That didn't make any sense. Those are my favorite that's what she said jokes, the ones that don't make any sense. <clears throat> that changed on February 28th when the science team announced that the rover had returned to science operations. This consisted of investigating, investigating the region on the slopes of Mount Sharp, dubbed Glen Torridon, that is rich in clay minerals. Wow. These minerals, which form in water, have always been a source of interest to the Curiosity team. You just go to the poles, man. Like, planet Mars. You want to find water, go where the snow is, bro. The methane snow. Or the, like, Martian... <laughs> See, I can't even, like, see this? This is, I had to reload my computer. I had to reset everything. And so then I downloaded the OBS Studio. So I go live again. And I can't even get the go live program to work. Whoever it is sure hates my guts and wants me out of the game. Man. And they're good hackers, man. All right, well, see, I can't even get my freaking internet to really work. So, yeah, the Mars and robots working again. Yay, so they can eventually take pictures of dirt. Eventually. The glitch was considered something of a scare for NASA and the general public, considering the recent announcement regarding opportunity after being caught in a planet-wide dust storm that began on June 2018. Solar-powered rover was forced to suspend operations until the storm passed. Unfortunately, the rover still needed to keep its internal heaters on to prevent the batteries from becoming inoperable. After several months, the storm lifted and the mission controllers began trying to restore attempt communications to the rover. After multiple attempts failed, everybody cried. The mission team declared the opportunity was inoperable February 12th, ruining everybody's freaking Valentine's Day. It's kind of like that thing. Like, no offense to my hackers, but a lot of it feels like absolute jealousy because, like, around the 14th, I was getting hacked the shit out of. And then the universe was trying to hack us because they said that, like, Ryan Adams took advantage of groupies. And then. Then NASA was like, oh my God, Opportunity's dead. It was like the most unromantic fourth February Valentine's Day ever. And they, just, I, they kept hacking me all day. So man, if your girlfriend or wife has a giant me mega crush on me, I'm sorry. If you were a woman and, and it make, you, you were just get so jealous because I think Selena Gomez is gorgeous and has the greatest voice of all time. Seems pretty cool. Emma Watson, Amelia Clark. Katya Kapoor, Kanzi, the fact that I have crushes on these ladies, if that drives you crazy, sorry, man. Stop, stop trying to be such a control freak. You know? Try and stop trying to have other people your shit burgers. And maybe try and find a sense of humor. How about that? You thought about that? Maybe? No? Okay. Worst Thor news video ever. Finally, I did it. I did it. I made the worst Thor news video ever. Proud of that. This makes Curiosity one of just two missions that are currently conducting science operations on the Red Planet. There's more than just two missions, I'm pretty sure. I don't even know. My brain is jealous. Anyway, we won't be getting pictures of, you know, Earth looking like landscape in the near future, but it is working again. So, try not to cry too much, okay? Anyway. I love you guys. You guys are fantastic. And please, I'm super grateful. I'm just frustrated. You know, I always thought if I worked this hard all the time and I did this well, my life would be decent. And I wouldn't have to 
And, you know, I, I got to make $30 just to make rent. And then I, what am I going to eat on top of that? I don't even know. Okay, I'm stressed out. But if you guys want to help save me and keep Thor News up and running, we got $30 to go with three hours and 45 minutes. So I greatly appreciate you guys. Everybody stay cool. And I will say a prayer. Peace out. God bless everyone.